Hello, my wonderful viewers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location or anytime you are meeting this video in any platform. If you like what I do here after watching this program, please subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, I talk about life in Germany. I talk about motherhood. I help women who are fighting fertility. I give them tips that could help them to conceive. And this is an answer to a question i received from one of my subscribers and she asks how can i get pregnant with hypothyroidism now before i will answer this your question we need to go deep into what hypothyroidism is all about and how can it affect you in getting pregnant and the signs that you will see and you know that you are really suffering from hypothyroidism now what is hypothyroidism hypothyroidism is a common condition where the thyroid doesn't create and release enough thyroid hormone into your bloodstream this makes your metabolism slow down also called underactive thyroid hypothyroidism can make you feel tired gain weight and be unable to tolerate cold temperature now um most of the women who are struggling to conceive they find it difficult sometimes when they undergo what is called hormonal test the doctor will tell you that your thyroid gland either it is hypo or hyper when it is hypothyroidism it, sim it simply means that your thyroid hormone is low is inactive it slows down your stress stem it slows down your bloodstream so when it is hyper that is when it is working excess so for you to get pregnant now we are going to talk about the signs before i can tell you the measures or what you should do in order to overcome this stay tuned watch this video to the end now let's look at the signs or what you will see happening to your body and you will know that you are suffering from hypothyroidism at first you may barely notice the symptom of hypothyroidism such as fatigue and weight gain or you may simply attribute them to getting older but as your metabolism continues to slow you may develop more obvious problems now number one is fatigue anytime you are feeling too fatigued if you are not pregnant or if you are not suffering from any other problem then this could be the signs of a hypothyroidism increased in sensitivity to cold yes um <laughs> whenever you are feeling too cold despite the fact that other people will be there they'll be telling you this place is warm you say no it's very cold i'm feeling cold this is one of the signs of hypothyroidism another one is constipation is also sign of uh, when you are not pregnant and you are witnessing all these things simply tell you that uh, everything is not normal another one is dry skin have you seen yourself gaining dry skin despite the creams or whatever you use in your body to make sure that um, your skin becomes smooth and oily but no way this is the type the sign of hypothyroidism weight gain this is the most common sign in women um hypothyroidism will make you to gain weight because one it will reduce your metabolism and uh, you always be weak and uh, you will feel like eating more and despite the exercises that you may undergo in order to reduce you will never reduce because you are suffering from hypothyroidism another one is poor face another one is uh, muscle weakness like i said before it will make you to feel weak honestly speaking hypothyroidism because your system is slow it slows down your system then it will make you to feel weak little thing you say you are tired you little thing you say you are tired if you are witnessing other signs please go to your doctor and conduct hormonal tests to check if your thyroid gland is functioning properly or whether it needs some medication another one is elevated blood cholesterol level another one is muscle aches tenderness and stiffness Another one is pain, stiffness, or swelling in your joint. 
Yeah, when it becomes uh, too obvious or more serious, some people may have um, um, swallowing in your uh, joint here. Like you can see the woman in this picture holding her hand. That is exactly where this uh, thyroid gland is. Thyroid gland is the hormone that uh, the, the hormone that regulates the entire metabolism. So any of them that is 40, it needs to be you know, address. It needs to be addressed because if it slows down the bloodstream in your body, my dear, you should know the implication. Another one is heavier than normal or irregular menstrual period. Yes, this is um, the one that concerns people who are trying to conceive. Is your period heavier than normal or irregular menstrual period? period you know when people are suffering from hypothyroidism sometimes they mix it with pcos that is why i always advise people to undergo a medical checkup because um hypothyroidism when you are suffering it uh, it will make you to look as if you are suffering from what is called pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome so thickening hair do you have thinning hair? Um, um, hypothyroidism can make you to lose a lot of hair. It can make you not to have hairs. Slow heart rate. Are you suffering from all those things? Depression. This is the worst part of uh, hypothyroidism. Because in as much as you make yourself to be happy, but... Since the thyroid gland is not functioning properly, you will always feel depressed. Even when you go to the hospital, sometimes they will tell you everything is okay. But because of that, the, the, the decrease in your metabolism, the slowdown in your thyroid gland, it will make everything slow and you will be feeling depressed all the time. Are you feeling depressed all the time? Have you been passing through depression? And when you go to the hospital, they will tell you nothing is wrong. Everything is okay. My dear friend, my dear sister, my dear brother, I don't know you, but I think you need to go for a hormonal test to check if your thyroid gland is functioning properly or not. Impaired memory. Sometimes it could make you to lose some memories it will make you to lose some memory so these are the, the 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 signs that you will undergo or you will see in your body or in your skin and you will know that uh, hypothyroidism is there and what should you do you visit the your doctor they will conduct hormonal tests to check how serious it is whether it is hypo or hyper Anyone that it is, they are going to prescribe treatment for you so that you will treat it. I think people with hypothyroidism, they live with the uh, medi medication through their life. But the most thing is to regulate the thyroid gland because it's the head of your body metabolism. It's, if it slows down or 40, it's going to affect um, your entire system. So thank you so much. In the next video, I am going to tell you how to conceive with hypothyroidism. I don't want this video to be long. Subscribe, share, and comment, ask questions. Bye-bye.